I'm going to try and eat only MRE meals for an entire week. Part of this week is going to be on a backpacking trip in the Drakensberg Mountains. My prediction is that I'm going to be pretty sick of MRE food by the end of the week. Welcome to Roughing It With Ruth, the channel where everything is a bit rough around the edges. From Serac Outdoor Cuisine, I've bought the SANDF MRE 24 hour packs. I'm not going to start in chronological order. Today is the first day that I'm trying this out, but I'm going to be eating day eight. Wow. Whoa. Pilchards and tomato sauce. Oh, why did I start with day eight? I hate pilchards. <laughs> oh, there's definitely something leaking. There's sugar all over everything. Some packet must have burst. This is everything that you get in the 24 hour meal pack for day eight. The non-edible things are over here, the matches, fuel tabs, and water purification pills. And then those little plastic bags, which you are supposed to be able to use as cups. You get some condiments like salt, chutney, tomato sauce, some creamer, some crunchy oaties, sugar, pulchards, pup, rice, savory mince, a snack noodle that looks like a cup noodle, dried peaches, an energy bar, some gum, some super sea sweets, some peanut butter sachets, cheese, some maize porridge for breakfast, vanilla flavor, so two isotonic drink sachets, a lactose-free nutritional shake, black tea, and two little sachets of coffee. You also get the menu, which is quite nice. I must say, this food looks like a lot for me. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to get through all of this, but I'll try and sample everything at least. This is what the menu recommends for breakfast. Some maize porridge, oats, crun crunchy biscuits, and coffee or tea. I'm gonna try out the coffee first. This is a much heartier breakfast than I would normally have in the mornings. Okay, lunchtime. I did also have two of the snacks between breakfast and lunch. I had some of the dried peaches and I had one of the cheeses. The cheese was actually quite flavorful, like kind of strong tasting, which was nice. The peaches, ugh, they're not the best dried fruit I've ever had. They're very dry. I'm going to have the pup and the pulchards, which I'm really not looking forward to. <laughs> this is what it looks like once it's come out of the microwave. I'm going to make my isotonic drink. This one is tropical flavor. Mm. Okay, that's quite a lot too strong for me. I'm just gonna decant this into a larger glass and add a bit more water. This is a beer mug, so that's about 500 mils of water. Yeah, that, that tastes about right to me. Now for the dreaded pilchards. Well, let's just try some of the pup with the tomato sauce first. That's actually quite nice. I'll, I'll take a bit of pilchard, actual pilchard, and see what that's like. It's not that bad. I'm not a huge fan of pulchards, but it's not that bad. I quite like the drink. The drink is really nice. I was kind of dreading lunch, but that meal was actually very nice. There's so much really juicy tomato sauce. So this is the savory rice with savory mince. Wow. The mince is delicious. Like for real, I actually think this is better than the mince that I make. <laughs> I have a cup of tea to go with my meal. And they only give you one tea bag in that whole packaging thing. And it also seems to be the world's weakest tea. I did make it in a pot in the hopes of getting two cups out of it. But I think in future, I'm just gonna use it in one cup of water because it's really weak. Time to try out the lactose-free nutritional shake. I haven't managed to get through absolutely everything from this pack, but once I have the lactose-free nutritional shake and the noodle snack, I will have tried one of everything at least. I don't really eat gum, so I haven't eaten any of the gum. So this is the resultant strawberry flavored nutritional shake with some really appetizing looking scum floating on the top. I don't know if that's the result of me shaking it so vigorously. I want to say kind of like the strawberry Nesquik, but not as milky, like there's definitely a kind of lack of dairy. It's actually not bad. 
the noodle snack is beef flavor and the noodles they don't really ever get soft like ever i've had them in this hot water for quite a long time i've even microwaved it to try and keep it warm to try and soften them a bit and they're like eating little dry twigs on to day two it's day number two of eating only mre meals and on the menu for me today is day number seven. Ah, okay, well this is this is slightly better news. The tea for today is rooibos tea instead of black tea. There's cheese again. I see, actually, the cheeses are meant to have something printed on them, but it looks like the ink gets rubbed off pretty easily. On this one, though, you can see that the flavor is actually processed cheddar. So the one that I had yesterday was yellow, and I don't know what flavor that one was because it didn't have any writing left on it. Uh, uh, for breakfast, it's maize porridge, but it's banana flavor. So on the instructions for this packet, it does not specify hot water. It just says add 250 mils of water. So I'm just going to add cold water this morning and see what it tastes like. I've mixed it up about as well as I can. There are a couple of small lumps, but nothing too terrible. This is surprisingly nice. I was expecting like really overpowering banana flavor that was sort of sickly sweet. And it's not like that at all. It's quite a mild banana flavor that's not too sweet. I put one packet of creamer in here and I can't really taste the creamer all that much, but the porridge itself is actually really nice. Weirdly, I like this one more than the vanilla one that I had yesterday. I think I might end up finishing it. So far, what I have learned from this challenge is that I don't actually know myself at all. I keep saying things like, I hate pilchards and I hate banana flavor, but the meals where I've been pretty certain that they're going to be terrible have actually turned out to be really nice. I really hope that I've allowed this to brew for long enough. I love rooibos tea. So I'm quite pleased. Oh yeah, that looks great. This is the fruit roll, which I thought was going to be like a rolled up dried fruit thing, but it actually looks like one of those fruit dainty things with sugar on the outside. It looks quite nice. It's extremely, extremely sweet. And I'm reading the ingredients which say, Sugar, glucose, fruit pulp, water, stabilizer, citric acid, sodium citrate, flavoring, and coloring. So it does seem like the majority of this is sugar and glucose. Lunch is beef, pasta, and veg. It certainly smells beefy. I can see quite a bit of beef in it. And there's also some little corn kernels and pasta. I think I'm going to go and grab one of the little salt sachets and add some salt to this. Pretty bland. Definitely not my favorite meal. That that was just kind of bland and uninteresting. What I do like though are the cheddar cheese. I actually prefer the cheddar cheese to whatever flavor I had yesterday. Just finished eating the supper, chicken a la king and samp. It wasn't too bad, but it was pretty bland. I tried putting some chutney with it, which helped a little, but not much. End of day two. Right, it's day three of my experiment eating MRE meals. On the menu today is day five. This is the lunch and dinner options from day five. Chicken biryani and mutton stew with pup. Breakfast today is identical to breakfast yesterday. Banana flavored maize pup, rooibos tea, and these little crunchy OT biscuits. I really wish that there was a different flavor of biscuit. I don't know if every single pack has the exact same flavor of biscuit, but it's already getting pretty boring and it's only day three. Man, when I was packing the snacks for Ralph and my son for the backpacking trip that we're going on, I really was craving the chocolate, but today's pack the energy bar, today's flavor is chocolate nut flavored. So I'm really hoping that this tastes kind of like chocolate because I am a massive fan of chocolate. It's chocolate colored. Honestly, that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> it doesn't really feel like you're eating chocolate at all. It feels like you're eating a kind of cheaply chocolate flavored energy bar, which I guess is exactly what you are eating. 
Lunch is mealy pup with mutton stew. The mealy pup is nice. Mutton stew is okay, but it's pretty bland as well. I think I'm gonna grab a little salt sachet and add some salt to it. So I've picked out the two packs that I'm going to be taking with me on my backpacking trip. It's day number three and day number six. I picked those two because they were the lightest weight. I actually weighed all of the days, but they're still really heavy in comparison to the food that I normally take backpacking. I'm definitely not going to take every single thing in the pack. I'm going to open them up and take out just what I need. So the backpacking trip with the MRE meals actually went pretty well. The backpacking trip itself, I found the meals quite nice because I ended up just eating them cold. I didn't even heat them up. And that was really fast and efficient because I didn't even need boiling water. I could just eat the meal right away and then throw away the packaging. The one downside was that they were pretty heavy, far heavier than the dehydrated backpacking meals that I normally take. But for the type of trip that I did, which was just a two day, one night thing, it actually worked out really, really well. And I would probably take those meals again for a shorter backpacking trip where I'm not too concerned about weight. The one place where these MRE meals kind of fell down a bit for me was on the drive to and from the trailhead. It took us five to six hours to drive there, both on the way down and on the way back and we had to eat dinner in the car and it just really didn't work for me to eat those MRE meals in the car. So I did end up eating the same takeout meals that Ralph and my son were eating that we just bought from a drive through I'm back at home now and because I had two dinners left over that I didn't eat in the car on the way down and on the way back from the backpacking trip, I am eating for breakfast this morning chicken biryani, which looks pretty good and smells pretty good, and I'm having some rooibos tea with that. Mmm, this one's chocolate flavor. Mmm, oh, it it's got bits of biscuit in it. Wow. This one's actually really good. This is my favorite one so far. This is mango flavored isotonic drink. And this is the lentil and beans with barbecue flavored rice. It's the final day of my seven days of eating the MRE packs. So this is day seven and this day is what I'm eating. It's day two. I am getting pretty sick of the breakfast biscuits because they're exactly the same every day and they're quite dry. So today I actually, instead of getting maize porridge, I got sorghum porridge. And it's got kind of a similar texture, but a little bit more gritty. And it was just original flavor, and I really like the flavor. It's actually really delicious. I have realized that in order to mix the ingredients properly in these sachets, you do have to sort of smush them around pretty heavily before you open them. That seems to be the easiest way to do it. These raisins are markedly different to the other raisins that I had. The other raisins were far more dehydrated than this and had sort of like almost a white residue on them, which makes me a little bit concerned that the previous raisins that I had were like old or something. These ones taste a lot better. There were several things about just eating MRE meals that were surprisingly great. I think the best one was that I didn't have to think about my meals at all. It really simplified meal times. I didn't have to do any meal planning. Another thing that was quite nice is that there was definitely enough food. I didn't even manage to finish all the food every day and none of the food gave me any sort of digestive upsets or issues. There were, however, some downsides and I thought that the main downside was going to be that it was kind of bland and it would get a bit boring because it's very much the same kind of food every day and that definitely did happen but the thing that actually irritated me the most about eating these particular MRE meals was the packaging and I don't really understand why the packaging is so bad. I had sugar packets leak, I had lactose free nutritional shakes leak, I had maize porridge leaks, I had peanut butter leak, I even had some of the Super C sweet packets that popped open spontaneously. Uh, I mean, look at this, this Super C packet, I literally just took it out of the packaging. 
and it's open. It's completely open. The Super C is lying here in my hand. I'm throwing this away because this was just lying out in the packaging. I'll show you an unopened packet. They have a little tear off piece of plastic at the top and then below that they have a Ziploc bag type seal so you're obviously able to seal it and reseal it. But that tear off part is not sealed in any way so I'm not even sure why that tear off part is there because anyone prior to shipping this to me could have opened any of those meal packs and interfered with the contents. It's not actually sealed which I find completely bizarre. It's a dog. In conclusion, if you're curious about MRE packs, then I would definitely say get them and try them out. They are actually quite useful and the 24 hour pack is nice because you get everything in there that you need for 24 hours. And if you are thinking of using them for a backpacking trip, I would say go for it. Just be aware that they are not dehydrated, so they are going to weigh a little bit more than your typical dehydrated backpacking food. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more from me, then you can click on my channel name to see videos that I've made in the past, or you can subscribe to my channel to see videos that I'm going to make in the future.